Hello everyone, I'm Deborah from Deborah Dell's Craft Room. Today I'm going to be painting angels, simple angels, and I'm going to paint two of them on mini bottle gourds. I hope you enjoy the video. These are the products that I'll be using for this project. They are Americana acrylic paints by Deco Art. The colors are Toffee, Santa Red, Hauser Medium Green, Celery Green, Red Iron Oxide, Snow White, Lamp Black, and in the Dazzling Metallics, Emperor's Gold. I'll also be using Duraclear Gloss Varnish when the project is completely dry. These are the two gourds that I'm going to be painting into angels. This one's going to be an ornament because it doesn't stand up. And this, this one can be an ornament, but it does stand up, so I'm going to leave it standing so it can sit on a mantle or a shelf someplace. Okay, let's get started. The first thing I'm doing is painting the angel's head with toffee. I'm going to color the stem the same color as the hair. I put two coats on these, but I think they might need another coat. We'll see after they dry. I forgot to put the hole in this, so I had to do it after I painted, but it came off. All right, it's in the front because the gourd has to sit this way and the stem was in the way, but it's fine. I usually like to put the holes behind the stems. I'll paint that loop the same color as the hair. I'm going to paint the dresses on these angels celery green because it's light and, and I think it's pretty. I'm going to go around the neck. Try to make a nice straight line. If you need to, you can draw one in with a pencil.
This is a new design for me. I've been looking for something simple to paint for people who are beginners because I keep hearing from my subscribers that they can't paint at all but I think this one is so simple that everyone will be able to paint it well almost everyone <laughs> The next thing we're going to do is we're going to shade around the neck of both of these boards. Okay, after I shaded around the neck, I dip dotted all the way around the top of the dress. It, it comes up into the, it's like half on and half off the dress. So it's, it goes into the shading. It looks like a pearl necklace. I was gonna do it in this green, the same green, but uh, just so it looks like scallops on the top of the dress and you can do that too if you'd rather but then I saw the white and I thought well I'll just make pearls so it looks like pearls and it also finishes the top of the dress off at the same time this one I used a smaller dip dotter than this one this one is kind of big but it's okay you know once you make that first dot you're committed though so I did this one second So anyway, there you go. Next I'm going to do the hands, the praying hands. I did them on the gourd I did last night, but I don't know if I liked how they were shaped or not, but we'll see. But now we're going to have to find the best side of the gourd, because right now it's all the same. But when we uh, <clears throat> do this part, we have to find the front of the gourd. Okay, I'm going to just put a line. Wait a minute, let me see if that's... Yeah, that's the best part. Okay. <clears throat> we put a line here. That will be the center line of the two hands. Then I'm going to just make a little curve at the top there. And I still don't know if I like this design for the hands. 
if you have a better one. Okay. I'm going all backwards and everything. I think these hands are okay. I had to, obviously, as you can see, I had to adjust the size a little and the shape. And so now I'm going to paint them toffee. Okay, there they are. Hmm. Adjust them a little bit because they're not the same. You can line them if you want, or you don't have to. Now I'm going to do the sleeves, which are very simple. I have some Hauser Medium Green. One drop on the, on the plate, that's all you need. And what I'm going to do is we're going to make these arms just simple. See it? That's it. That's all there is to it. I'm going to do the other one. We can, we can do this because it's uh, a small gourd. If you were making a bigger gourd, I would recommend that you make an arm instead of just the little sleeve indicators that we have here. Okay, darken this one up a little. Okay, that's all there is. Simple. No lining unless you want to. When this uh, toffee dries, I'm going to shade the hands a little bit so that they there'll be a separation between the two. Cuter than a bug's ear. Okay, now. I'll do the other one, show you when it's done.
So her hands are done. I'm going to go back to this other gourd, feel if it's dry, and it is. So I'm going to shade these hands. Tiny bit, tiny bit of paint. Okay, these are done. I want to do the other ones. We just shade the center where they meet, where the hands meet. Then the inside. And that, and the, uh, bottom of the hand. Okay. When you line on both sides, you get a little darker section in the center, so it shows, it's like where the hands meet together, it shows it better. Now I'm going to do the eyes with black and a liner and I have thinned the paint down to an ink-like consistency. And about halfway down where you think the face should be, I'm going to just do a, a little line, a curved line. And then try really hard to put one right straight across from it and make it the same size. Mine's a little crooked. Let's see if I can fix it a little. Mine are always crooked. Okay, now we're going to put some eyelashes on. The uh, these are little closed praying eyes. One, two, and three. One, I turned it upside down so I can I don't know why I turned it upside down, but I do. Two, three. Some are longer than the others, so I think I'm going to make these longer over here. Okay. What we do next is we get some of that celery green, make it real thin. And with your liner brush, we're going to put some eyeshadow, just thin, thin, and then just drag it across and make a little oval on top of the eye. Can you see that? And do it on the other side, of course. Next, we put the lips in. I'm using Santa Red, and I'm making one of those little dip dot hearts. Do 
Isn't she pretty? I'm going to do the eyeshadow again. Okay, now we have the eyes done on both of the gourds, and I'm going to do, I'm going to wait to do the lips on this one, because I should have blushed the cheeks first, before the lips, because I didn't want to, uh, I don't want to get powder on the lips. Let's see what we got here. Okay, here we go. All right, I have the, you know, scruffy brush, and I'm going to get the pink, and I'm going to twirl and twirl the blush on this. Isn't she beautiful? thing of beauty and a joy forever. Okay, now the other one. Now I'll put the lips on.
Isn't she beautiful too? My goodness. Okay. Now, I'm not going to put the hair down far. I'm just going to make a fluff of hair on the top. And then I'll put the halo underneath the hair. So I think I'll do the halo first. That way I'll know where the hair should go. I'm just going to get the pencil, start going around. If you have to, you can cut a circle out of a piece of cardstock and set it down on there so it, you know, the circle sits here. You use the outside of it, not the inside. And then you can set it down and just draw around it. These gourds are small, so I'm just going to freehand them in. And that way I can also, because it's a pencil, I can adjust it if I have to. Because you're going to put the, the dip dots right on top of this line. Okay, that one looks good. Okay, now let me do this one. You could also... If you wanted to, you could tip the halo off to the side, like she's styling. My husband's grandmother put a hat on. Every time she put a hat on, she tipped it to the side. She was quite stylish. Okay, there you go. The lines are on. This one is a little tipped. I'm going to leave it like that. And I'm going to do this halo with gold. Dip the dots right on the line and place them close enough together so you don't see that pencil between the dots. Okay, I'm going to let that dry before I do the hair because I'll stick my finger right in it if I don't. I'm going to do this halo white. And the reason for that is I have white wings for this angel and for the smaller angel I have gold wings.
Okay, her halo is done. Now if you wanted to, you don't have to put any hair on it. You can just leave it just like this. Kind of a primitive, but she's a little fancy, but... And then you would want to paint the stem toffee. But I'm going to put some white hair on this, uh, on both of these angels. This one I'll do first because it's the halo is dry. And I'm going to get a number three round. And first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to paint this. I'm painting the stem white, same color as the hair. What I'm doing is putting quite a bit of paint on the brush like I have done on the elf and anything else that has this kind of hair and I just set it down and draw it back to the stem. go all the way around until it's done. I think that looks adorable. But if you want to, you can pull the, pull the hair down all the way down to underneath where the halo would be and then put the halo on top of the hair if you don't like this little tussle of hair on top of her head and I don't know if tussle is the right word but I bet you know what I'm talking about Okay, so I have these two done, and I'm going to let them dry so I can varnish them before I put the wings on. So we'll see you in a little while.
I'm varnishing the head. I can't varnish the body because I put, I added some buttons to the dress and they're still wet. So I'm doing this right now. I'm working on the little one too. Okay, I have here angel wings. This one is iridescent. It's white iridescent wings. Oops. And these were gold wings, but they weren't the right color gold. They didn't match this gold here on the halo. So what I did was I painted them. And then I put uh, polyurethane on. They really don't shine like I like, but at least they match the gold. Well, sort of. They match better than they did. So I'm going to put these on as soon as my glue gun heats up. Cute little wings. I've had them for years because I stopped painting back in 2002, I think. Let's see how we're doing here. You have to look over the top to make sure the wings are centered with the face. And then you press them in with the after they're glued. Of course this didn't work out. I put them in the wrong place. Try again. Maybe I'll turn it this way this time and look first this way and then push them in. There we go. I'm going to hold it till it cools. I'm trying to find my ornament hook. I don't know if that's going to stay or not, but we'll find out. Put the ornament hook on, and there's your little angel. Let's see, there we go. Little angel. I put one coat of varnish on, and I'm going to put the second coat on later. Now I have this other now set of wings. I'm going to put on these angel wings. It's a different kind, different style. The gourd is bigger, so I decided to use these. And I think I'm going to glue right on this wings this time and see if that is a better way to do it. Good, as always. Okay, here we go. Let me see. These wings look better from the back than they do from the front. See? But they look okay. I'm going to check to see if, how straight they are. They look okay. Okay, so there you have it.
I'm going to wait until tomorrow to polyurethane these and I'll just go around the wings because I don't want to touch any wet paint anymore. So there you have it. A little sitting angel and an ornament. Simple and cute. A wonderful gift for anyone on your list. There you go. Two cute little angels. Simple, fast, and a nice gift for anyone. Just a little bit of line work on the eyes, tiny bit of shading on the sleeves and the neck, and you're all set. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell so that you'll be notified of my future videos.